Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick video on the frequency tables and specifically how we can use R Commander to help us with that process. So the first thing that we need to do is open up your R Studio. So here I've got mine open up already. And then we need to either click on R Commander or you can also use a shortcut if you don't want to scroll through all of your packages. You can simply type in library and then type in RCMDR for R Commander and hit enter. And it says it's going to load everything, so it popped it up already, and here we go. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is load our data. So go to data, we're going to import, and I'm going to import my Excel file. I'm going to call this cars0. So this is almost the same as the card data set, but I made a few adjustments so I can show uh, a little trick that we have to do. Okay, so I'm going to click OK on that, and then we can just go find your data set and click open. So let's view our data. And here we have our data. It's very similar. The only thing that's different is I included three zeros in the number of cars. And I'll show you why I want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to close out of here. And the first thing, let's go to statistics. Let's go to summaries, and we're going to do numericals or frequency distributions first. So frequency distributions, these are specifically how our commander interprets that is just with categorical variables. So let's go look at color. We're going to click OK. Uh, we actually might be able to pick multiples. Yeah, we'll click both of them at the same time. So I just held down the shift key and selected both of these color and sex, and then I'm going to click OK. And you can see that, okay, there's a bunch of code that our commander uh, start wrote out. And if we go and look in our window, you need to click on it sometimes for it to refresh in our studio. And it says, okay, here we've got our counts and our percentages. So we start up top and we can see that there were um, seven that were black, 10 that were blue, six that were red. And we can see the percentages below. That's super handy. And then here we can see that we've got female and male for the sex and that we've got our percentages uh, below for the sex as well for female and male. So that's really handy for the breakdowns. Uh, the next thing that we can do is let's go to statistics summaries and we're going to look at numerical summary. So now we're looking at numerical data. So let's click on one. So we're going to click on one or more. Let's go ahead and click on MPG and I'm going to hit shift again and click number of cars so we can do them together. I want to look at the statistics. So we can choose some things that we want. We haven't discussed a lot about these yet, um, but we will uh, we'll leave them selected. So we've got the mean, the standard deviation, the interquartile range, the quantiles. I guess a lot of that is too much for right now. Let's go ahead and deselect uh, those two, the interquartile range and the quantiles and we're going to just select bind frequency counts and we're going to click OK. So I'm going to click OK and here we go we've got our bin count so this top one is of uh, miles per gallon so it says between 5 to 10 remember this one is continuous the miles per gallon so we have these kind of range binges, ranged bins and so they go from 5 to 10, there were 2, from 10 to 15, there were 9, from 15 to 20, there were 6, so on and so forth, all the way up to 35 to 40 miles per gallon. Now, the distribution of the number of cars is discrete variables. So it should be going from, you know, how many had 0 cars, how many had 1 car, how many had 2 cars. And we notice that we have a slight issue here because... I, like I said, let's look at the data again. I specifically included, let me find them. Oh, let's go down just a few. There we go. I included some zeros because I wanted to see a zero bin. If you notice down here, there's an issue where we don't see our zeros in the bin. Um, it's not a big deal uh, to fix, but we, you have to know how to do it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go look at the statistics again. We are going to look at the summaries, numerical summaries, and this time we're just going to choose number of cars. Statistics will keep the same thing that we had before, and we're going to click OK. 
Okay, what we have to do is we actually have to go and do just a tiny bit of coding. Not terrible, but uh, just a little bit. So what we need to do is we need to come into this line where it says bind counts. So we see where we have this says number summary, it's cars, the number of cars. This is the code that it wrote for our specific little um, little action. We need one more argument here that it didn't give us. So we're going to hit comma. We're going to do breaks. We're going to say equals. And we need a negative number in here. We need negative one, semicolon. And then we need to go up to the biggest value that we have. So that would be nine. And then we can hit submit. So I'm going to click submit. And come on down. And now it has it done correctly, where it included uh, additionally this uh, negative one to zero. That's where the zero bin is actually located. So we've got now our bins set up correctly, and they're working just fine. And that is how we can build these frequency. Uh, distributions. Now if we want a table uh, we need to do a little bit extra work but I will include that in another video. So that's it for now. Good luck!